what's up guys welcome back to my channel oh guess who we have here today look at her look at her anyway guys so we have a part two of the <laughs> you know the video we did before it was me and touch by tiny remember to check out our channel um it's touch by tiny but now we're gonna do part two and right now we have nikki everybody know nikki the most loved and the most hated at the same time. <laughs> yes, so we are going to talk about life in the strip club part two. Yes, so I'm just going to let her tell you guys everything, but I'm going to start with um, this. The first night I started working in the club, you know, doing makeup as a housewoman, whatever. Guess who? I did Nikki's face first. And then when everybody see that or they'll be like, damn, who did your eyes? So I did her first because you know when we when I came in the club, her personality and she was like, Oh, you the house mom, you do makeup? I'm like, Yeah. So and and then, you know, right after I did her makeup, everybody loved it. I text my husband, I text Cushion and be like, Listen, I think I'm gonna mm -hmm. stay. <laughs> Cause I didn't know yeah. if I wanted to stay. So I said, you know what, I think I'm going to stay. Because I made a little money the first night. It's not bad, but I thought I would make only like $20 or whatever. Yeah. So I made like maybe $200 the first I night. Was I was like, you. that's not bad for the first night. So, um, yeah, so Nikki started it and whatever. And then, you know, in the club, we got close and everything. Started doing our makeup every night or every, you know, weekends or whatever. And then, boom. So this is her and everybody loves Nikki. And I love you all. Okay. My adoring fans, smile. Yes, yeah, so tell them a little something, something about So, you know. my name's Nikki, and you've obviously heard our introduction and things like that. Um, I would say when I first started dancing, this was five years ago. So, this is when, you know, like, KOD, like, Magic City. This <laughs> is when shit was still in that hot little era. And I would say... When I first started dancing, I mean, I was honestly at a low point in my life. If you ask anybody, why did you first start dancing? You're not going to hear a nice, pretty story like, oh, I was just having a great Monday and just walked into the strip club to take off my clothes for strangers. Like, you're never going to hear that. Um, so, obviously, I was at a low point in my life financially, and I was desperate. Zoom in on me when I say that, because I'm not playing desperate. So that's kind of what made me go into the strip club i know everybody has their other reasons but mm -hmm. that was my thing so i i want to ask you something you think most girls were desperate like the desperation i think for most girls was they needed um they needed like quick cash like right. they need money on the go i needed so, that shit that day that day right, right. i think that it was something with my car payment like my car is about to get repoed if i didn't make my car payment in three days and then I was like, okay, it's time to make some shit shake. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. So I went, I had a credit card at the time for like $500. Um, bought stripper shoes. I bought all these kind of stripper outfits off of eBay for like $20, $10 here. DIY and stripper outfits, putting my own stones on from YouTube videos. Um, first night in the club, I was in Miami. And the club was called Sugar D's. So you went to Miami for the first time. You weren't like scared? Like I Miami was so is so scared. Remember, Miami is different from Orlando. So it's like, you know, there's more crowd there in Miami. I was so scared. I was so scared. I was so scared. I, sh I think I shit twice before I left the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have so much anxiety. anxiety like, yeah. I have to shit. <laughs> I shit twice before I left the house. I think I got there, and what made me even, like, more, um, like, was, like, what the fuck am I doing here? And when I got there, I didn't know what to tell them. I was, like, I'm here to strip. Make some, <laughs> I'm make here. some money. I'm here to take off my clothes. Where do I, where is the line for people who take off their clothes? Not the customer line, the other people. <laughs> and the dude was, like, oh, okay, you have to do an audition. I was, like okay <laughs> he told you that he's like you gotta do all this i was like all right okay i'm gonna try right so he takes me in the back this is what they have this is what they would call audition he takes me in the back he sits on a chair like this and he watch you like and he and he just watches you take off your clothes you don't dance you show him your hole you show him your 
whole you might you give them your social security like there isn't anything you don't give these people except a blood sample and you give them everything and it's so degrading it's such a weird feeling i would say for the first time it's not nice it's not it's not pretty so um, did you did you like it oh my god i feel like i was already i went with one of my one i went with somebody who is not a friend of mine now but let's just call her stupid oh no i can't say that you know this bitch <laughs> wait let's just call her Stupid Sally. <laughs> Listen, let, let me tell y'all something about Nikki, people. This is our personality. So we're just going to let it ride the wave, okay? This is Listen, just Nikki. I went with stupid Sally. Girl, that's your YouTube name, Just Nikki. Just Nikki. That's just that's being just Nikki. That's who I am. Right, right. Listen, and this girl was just a fraud, just a horrible person, just a lame person to be around. Like, I'm trying not to cuss because I'm trying to be good, but... Like, okay, but besides that, I went with stupid Sally, okay? We get to the club, and me and stupid Sally, she acting scared. She acting like, oh, I, I just don't want to be That's here. our first time, too? It's, it's our, both of our first times. Wow, that's weird. Dummy. My dumb. I should have went with a, somebody more experienced. Experienced, <laughs> like, a couple of years in I the club. I I didn't have no teacher. So, me and her going here, I don't even have 20 minutes to get ready. They call me on stage. And, you know, my dance name, when I first started dancing, I didn't have a dance name. So I was just like, just call me my regular name. Just call, just call, just call me my regular name. I'm not going to say I'm a government on here. And so they called me boop, to the stage. I get up there. Don't know what to do. Lost in the sauce, girl. Lost in the sauce. I walk up to this place. I hit him with the... That's what you did? That's what you did, Nikki? Girl, I don't even know what that was. Just looking at that in the camera makes me cringe. Oh, my God. First of all, you're Jamaican. You should actually know to do a little bit more. I was so... It was the heels and the clothes I had on, and it was dark. You know? So, I didn't have my x-ray vision yet. I didn't have my stripper vision yet. It, it was bad. It was bad. But I did get tipped $25 on stage. 25 big ones. Long money. Um, And it was crazy because the person who tipped me was apparently the boyfriend of a dancer in the club. That must be weird. It was far from weird. Because, so, you know, these girls are going to be like, this is her first night. <laughs> she got tipped by my man. Are you serious? I'll never forget. This dude, this dude, his name is like Devon or Devante, like one of them sexy ass, light skin R&B names. And... Um, he tips me, and I didn't know what to say. Thank you. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, child. So I go to the back, and I'm flogging a little 25 to my friend. I'm like, okay, this is how it starts. This is how it starts. This girl, her name is Minnie, like the mouse, like the mouse. She comes up to me, and she's like, I just want to let you know that that $25 you got is will be the only $25 you get. She did? In this club. She did not. This girl is standing at a whopping size of 411. A, a heavy hitter at 110. Um, so, my, this is my first night there. I don't know how to defend myself. I don't know what to do. She, whatever When she said whatever she said, I, th I just think I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you know, okay. these people are crazy. Okay. 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 Then... It was my turn to go back on stage again. He gives me another $20 to add to my total, which is a whopping 45 And when I get back to the locker room this time, she said, I thought I told you not to get X amount of dollars from X amount of It ain't my fault. Listen, she starts going off on me, going off. I was so scared. Poor, poor little Nikki. Poor little Nikki. She's bullying me. She's bullying me. Um, so I then started to stand in the corner the rest of the night. I didn't get back on stage. Um, then I had a fine for not getting back on stage. You what? Oh, $20. So my first night dancing, I'm not going to lie, I netted $25. That's what I took home. So, what was the um, the vibe and what was the motivation to go back? You know, 
know what? I just felt like because it was only twenty five dollars. Yeah, but you know, I felt like the, it wasn't the night it was supposed to be. If that makes any sense, like, I knew this wasn't the regular mm-hmm. flow, mm-hmm. and I was at the dirtiest club in Miami. Like, if you ever heard of Sugar D's, like, then you know it's not the nicest place. So I figured, let me go somewhere else. Let me try something new. Da, 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 da. I had met somebody at Sugar D's, like a little light skinned girl, and she was like, Oh, you should come with me to this other club. So I gave her my number, and we ended up going to that next club. But I would say, like, if it wasn't the next day, within the next two days. And it was called Emperors. That was it! That's what made me be like, Okay, this is it! I can do this! <laughs> I, can, I can do this! So what happened? <laughs> We go to Emperor's. It's a huge club, like huge pools. I've never gotten a pool before ever in my life. I'm with this light skin girl. I just met her yesterday. She's on cocaine. I'm on cocaine. I'm like, so I'm hyped up at this point. She drugged me, which was nice. And Listen, so we go on the stage. This, like I said, this is just Nikki. We go on the stage. It's nothing wrong with drugs. Just <laughs> don't, don't be a little nose candy, you know, but it's nothing wrong with drugs. So... She takes me out on the stage in front of like hundreds of people, like hundreds. Of mo- this is at, the most crowd. This is the biggest crowd I've ever had at this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we go out there. She gets on stage. And she starts getting up on the pole and doing this crazy, like just crazy pole work. And I kind of caught her vibe. So I was like, okay, you can stand up there, and I'll just kind of like do some stuff on the floor. And the floor work came naturally to me. You know, like, rolling, doing sexy things on the floor. That came naturally. So that was, like, boom, instant, mm-hmm. instant. And all of a sudden, like lightning striking twice, money starts falling from the sky. The motherfucking sky. I mean, I just, I hear the sound of money flowing through the air like 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 a bird's wings fluttering. <laughs> <gasps> this sound this is the first sound. This is the first time I ever heard this. First time. Listen, I think it probably was only fifty dollars. I didn't even care. I didn't even care at that point. Just the fact that somebody thought I was cute enough for them to spend their hard earned money on me. So, <laughs> so then we leave, <laughs> listen. We leave the stage and. Um, I don't know. I just I must have been feeling it, and really must have been that yayo. I walked right up to him, and I was like, <laughs> "Thank you, thank you, sir, thank you, sir, thank you, sir." Like an idiot, he was like, "Yeah, you should stay over here." I was like, "Yeah, okay." What? Did he take you? This is my first club, boo. Yes. So he starts making it rain in the little section that we're in, just flowing money, flowing money. I think that night I must have made like seven hundred dollars. That's my first wow. night, and I so, had somebody else with me. So technically, we made fourteen hundred. We split it, and that was all I needed. My car payment was due, four hundred and thirty dollars. I needed that. What? Seven hundred dollars? You couldn't tell me shit. My broke ass getting seven hundred dollars. And that was it. And the rest is history. So after, you know, you get into know everything and, you know, it started flowing because you learned the moves and, you know. Yeah, but I mean, starting out is hard. Starting out is hard because nobody wants to teach you shit. Nobody wants to they make don't you care. look good. Nobody wants to make you dance good. Like, you going out there and dancing like a flop and looking like an asshole, like, that's the best thing that's happened to them all night. They love it. Because you just made yourself look like an idiot and more money for them. So it was it was so hard making friends, finding people to help you. It, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to tra- It's the hardest transition I've ever had in my life. So after my, how long you stayed in Miami before you start doing it in Orlando? Or do you travel a lot? Because the money was in Miami, so why not stay in I was Miami? in Miami for a while. <laughs> Let's be real. Three of my favorite things are drugs, <laughs> money, <laughs> and rock and roll. <laughs> but for real, like, crazy. it was perfect for me. Everything, the vibe was perfect. Like, everything was perfect for me in Miami. And the only reason I moved to Orlando is because at one point it seemed like 
Miami was like a travel spot. Like I was losing my clientele because they were going different cities, da 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 da. And Orlando was more of like the same crowd every day kind of thing. Like slowed down a little bit more and mm-hmm. that's kinda what I wanted to transition to. Mm. So yeah, so it was you know, a mistake. If you're stripping in Miami, stay there. Don't leave. If you want to start dancing, start in Miami. Don't start in Orlando or move to Orlando. Or basically, what she's saying is go to a city that has money right. where you can make some money. Because if you're in a, a slow area, because I'm surprised she went back because you only made twenty five dollars the first night. So oh, you know, it's like you went back again, and then the money start coming. Cause I was in the club seeing that she made money. Cause sometimes she was the only one making money. So it's like that. Sometimes girls don't make no money. So that's the life of the strip club. And there's nights to tell them that oh, you yeah, don't make like as much as not, you expect. Yeah, I feel like if there's one thing you should take away from this video, it's not the glitz and glamour that you see on Instagram. Like it's not just. You know what? Tiny money. said some, Tiny said that don't let the money on Instagram fool you yeah. that these strippers post. Don't let it fool you because you don't know if I brought that money into work and I'm just putting other money on top of it. You don't know if I screenshotted this from somebody else's Instagram, put it on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know if this is just one great night I had and I got 10 videos of it and I'm just showing you the same video yep. 10 times. 10 times, yeah. You know like you don't know. There's a lot of I don't know, it's hard to sort out the real and the fake on Instagram, but don't don't fall for the hype. Like, there was nights that I've made zero dollars. There's been a week I've made zero dollars for three nights straight, you know? Like, it's just, it just wasn't popping that week or it wasn't popping that month or it wasn't popping that day or whatever. Like, it's never popping all the time. You yeah, get what I'm you saying? don't make money all the time. Yeah, the same thing with me. Because if they don't make money, I don't make money. Right. If I'm not getting tipped, she's not getting tipped. Nobody's getting tipped. Nobody's making money. So, you know, there are some nights I go in there and I'm not going to lie. Like, I'll make 1500 easy. Quick money, stage mm-hmm. money, nothing. Don't have to do anything. There are some nights where I had to, like, grind on some old, weird, semi-hard dick for... You know, four hundred dollars for four hours. For four hours. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's it's like the draw the luck. You know what I mean? Like you could just have the perfect stage timing that night, and every time they call your name, it's it, like it rains. Right? It's just it, it just is what it is. The dude who's standing by the stage just so happened to get more ones when you just so happen to walk up there. Yep. You know, don't believe the the hype. You see, like, these slow down videos and these cut videos. Like, there's a reason they're edited all the time. And nobody's just walking through the club saying, look at look at all this, look at all this. Because it's never that, baby. It's never that. The truth. It's not always like... Because I never knew that there was even a house mom for the clubs. Right. I thought you have to... You know, they have to pay you to work at the club. So I didn't even know. So when I started there, I had no clue about it. I just did a girl... Jamaican girl too. I did her makeup and she mm. lives here. And she said, Hey, would you do like this in the club? Cause I just came in. I was telling her that yeah. And she was like, Boom. The first night, James, I love James so much. He is listen. Nice. He the has, first night he has. was like, Can you start tonight? I was like, No, I gotta be prepared. <laughs> I can do it tomorrow night. I need you and to that meet. yeah. Hey, right? James is James is I like James like mm-hmm. so much. I respect James. He's funny. He's like he, he, James doesn't act like the manager. James act like just a regular worker. So I like that about him. So it was good. Sometimes I miss the girls. I miss the fight. Like I keep saying, right, girl, let us. But- and I, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be the one like, listen, y'all can't do that. And girl, I'm enjoying <laughs> the everything. The drama <laughs> just stirring the pot. And just I was like, you know what? Pot. You guys the can drama. do whatever. I don't care. Yeah, like, I feel like, you know, what you, what everybody sees is like, you see me and I'm always pretty all the time and I'm getting money and you see I have a little designer thing sometimes and I clearly don't work a daytime job so you think I just have like this, this, this life. But you know, if you peel the rug back and you actually look and analyze what I was doing, it's hard. It's not as easy and, and pretty as it looks, you know, it's, it's hard. Not. Hard, but hard yeah. work. Because, like I said, I even cried. You remember? I cried. Oh, I had yeah. you cry one many night. Times. I cried like, many times. 
like sometimes the life the girls it's you, you feel so sorry for them even though you're working there for the tip they'll be like oh my god i did not make no money i'm like you know what it's okay and That's i know it. that i'm not making no money if they don't make money but you know i come home and i still go i still go i still go i still go and whatever because i really like the girls in there you know sometimes they'll be like chrissy where are you at or oh mom where are you at you coming oh my god i need my makeup done i need this no. I, are you cooking i need food no right and yeah and stuff like that so i i enjoyed working there sometimes i miss it like i said but just miss the girls and the company because sometimes i don't make no money so it's like you know what and i have to try and dig money out of these girls or whatever and some mm -hmm. leave and sometimes i have to sit and wait for you to bust money down because i made it bad for myself because yeah. i supposed to get paid the first thing before you start working you supposed to have everything organized for right. yourself so if I want to leave before the night you ends, can. I can. But girl, I, you know what? Because I was in there with my feelings, getting feelings with them and everything. So, Girl, it is a lot of negative things to the strip club. But you know, the one thing that you don't get anywhere is like this weird kind of sisterhood thing. Like you go to the locker room crying and stuff like that. And you will be greeted by people saying like, what's wrong? You need a hug. You need this. You need that. Like, mm -hmm. they're going to remember your side, get you a drink that night. Like, so it's a, it's a weird sisterhood, you know? Cause those same sisters that'll hug you probably f steal the shit from your bag. It's they weird. know you're drunk. So they're going to take your money. It's weird. And they'll be like, weird. Oh, you want me to help you with your bag or bring yeah, you to the car. And they know that the only reason they're doing this is true you know try to get something from you and right. then tomorrow night they don't remember nothing about you exactly you, they just i don't even remember nothing about you right they that just know that you made myth. that you made some money let me see if i can you know show some time type of gratitude or whatever to right. her and see if i can get the money from her they steal a lot oh a yeah. lot a lot in right. the club that's what i'm saying it's it's hard to sit here and talk about the strip club and like talk about oh this is what it is this is what it is because it's different for everybody i danced in the strip club that was what that was my thing i'm you know i'm really good on the pole i'm I, i'm really nice at entertaining people i'm mm -hmm. really good at you know keeping myself together poised things like that but um girl there are some girls who suck in the back and they're making double what I'm making. Get what I'm saying? So it's hard to to tell you exactly what the strip club is because it's whatever it's, you want to do. It's whatever you make it. Right. It's whatever. And you then make you know it. the funny thing is she keeps saying all of this. You're not supposed to do all of this. You're not supposed to have sex. They, first of no. all, the customers they're not supposed to even touch the girls. Right. I'm not even supposed to be grinding. I'm not even supposed to be feeling your heart right but you know what that's so they see that it's so hard for you to get twenty dollars from them just shaking right there right. let me try to get something oh. else oh. because oh. they want to do more right so right and then if you are the girl that's like oh no touching three feet back this isn't this like that's it your you're not gonna make no money uh-huh next person talk to you later so you kind of have to break the rules a little bit give them a little contact which like ugh. you don't want to do it <laughs> you know what i'm saying who wants to dance on some random fucking but you have to do what you have to do and one thing i will learn from the strip club is i'm not afraid to talk to anybody now now i can walk up to anybody in any setting and, and talk to anybody i'm not afraid to ask anybody for anything if you owe me five dollars from two years ago and i see you i'm gonna ask you do you think i can have that five dollars you owe me <laughs> it is not it's not even a big deal this doesn't, doesn't even make me feel uncomfortable i don't even blink twice like it it broke it broke down a lot of barriers for me because I was quote I was quite shy going in so it broke down those barriers for me and it taught me what my worth is if that makes any sense it taught me that you know you may suck for a hundred dollars but I'm not a hundred dollar mm -hmm. you know that's not who I am <laughs> no 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 she's crazy <laughs> no 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 maybe someone <laughs> <laughs> but you know what guys so like you know now that you are are you still in the club they want to know okay i know y'all want to know if i'm still dancing from show popping this but i'm not i'm currently retired i'm out the game you think you would ever do it again oh my god i wasn't prepared for that question <laughs> you thought i was gonna ask you that i think that 
I'm good right now. But honestly, if something did happen to me and I needed to, I would. Don't get it. She's good at I it. Would. She's good at it. I will go it. back in a sec, in a heartbeat. Not in a heartbeat. To edit that out, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rewind. Tell them what you said. Not in a heartbeat. Not in a heartbeat. I would. It's. I would. It would take a lot for me to go back to the strip club right now. I have to lose my house, lose my car, and then all that shit will have to burn down. I'll have to do a lot, and then I'll probably go back to the strip club. But no, no. If you do want to start dancing, like if you're watching this video and you're like, man, I want to start dancing. I want to. What do I do? What do I do? Just, just do it. There is no, Be you. you can't fail. You know what you should tell them? Oh, you feel on the stage. You have to block everything out. Because mm. girls be at the back. Girl, I don't know nothing about stripping. And they be like, oh, house mom, this is my first night. What do you think I should do? Yeah. Girl, you have to ask her because I don't know myself. I love being on the stage. That was one of my favorite things about being on the show club. I love being on the stage. Like, just... I know millions of people are looking at me, but it, it doesn't feel like I'm looking at you. Does if that makes any sense? You it just everything out. Yeah, it's just that's my only time when I was in the strip club to actually kind of like chill out, let loose. I don't have to worry about who's touching me. This, 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 this. It was just a good time, and that was my favorite part about dancing was the stage. My least favorite part about dancing, I would say, would be. The club owners. Working with the club owners and having them treat you like slaves and shit. That's the worst part about stripping. Um, but I don't know. It was just... It, it's such a big part of who I am now. It's crazy. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I didn't start it for it to be like Nikki the stripper or whatever. But now I just feel like I am Nikki the stripper. <laughs> like, I you hear that, guys? That's who I am now. I mean, I don't have any regrets. If I could do all over again, one thing I would do differently would um, to cool it on the drugs, maybe. like. <laughs> so was there one point where you were like, you were on drugs where you didn't identify yourself or you didn't know that you were home or stuff like, oh, you know what? <laughs> Girl, I got a whole DUI. A DUI. I'm a DUI. That should be my. YouTube name DUI Nikki. I told you guys this That's is a so disclaimer fun. at the front. She's Revolt crazy. Licensed Nikki. How about that? <laughs> She's crazy. Guys. Like honestly, the drugs took my life. Like you're supposed to do the drugs, not to let the drugs do you. And I let the drugs ride me. Like, like oh. Oh, you feel now? You're different. I mean, now. I feel good now. I just I do mild drugs now. But now, guys, she's good. She's great. Because sometimes, even being in the strip club, you can probably find somebody, meet somebody. And that's what happened to her. She's lit right now. Yes, I did find my man in the strip club. I know you guys have been wondering what I've been doing and stuff like that. Yes, I did find my man in the club. He loves me. Duh. It doesn't happen to everybody. Do not look at that as your exit ticket. I just know how to pick them. You don't know how to pick them. You are an idiot. I am not an idiot. You're dumb. I'm not. You wouldn't know a man with money from a pack of carrots. Okay? I know. Simple as that. I took the risk and left. Don't, don't do what I do. Watch this video and do everything I said the opposite way. This is a what not to do I as a stripper. I told you guys, you have to be like... This is not... I'm not the one to tell you right from wrong. Because I'm a f***ing dumbass. <laughs> Period. Simple as that. I'm a dumbass. Well, like, listen, guys. You know what? So, I think you guys understand a little bit more about, you know, working in the club from different girls. And she's the second one. But, you know what? Nikki's just crazy. Like I said. And um, she's good right now. And I can tell. And I know that she's good right now and everything and she's getting stuff straightened and I like that. So yeah. she's perfect right Going now. Going to school stuff. and shit. I'm trying right? to change she's, my life. Right. She's doing a lot of stuff right now and that's good. So you know what? It's a good thing to know, have knowledge about working in a strip club because it's not always what you see on Instagram it's never what or you, see. you know on the socials. It's not like that. So it's never what you, you hear see. it from her. Ever. And you need to tell them your Instagram name. My where, Instagram. where can they find you? So if you want to find me, right now I'm trying to boost up my Instagram. It's freaknick305 underscore. You already know. You already 
I'm gonna put it right there, guys. So <laughs> you already right know. <laughs> you already know. She's crazy. There you have it, guys. And I did a little recording on her makeup. Go in front, stoop down, and let them see your face. I need you to go uh -huh. right there. Right here. I don't want to get too close. I don't want y'all to fucking get my grill. So that's her, guys. I did a little look for her. It's probably not showing right now, but I will definitely post that video of me doing her makeup because I like to do her makeup. And I think she has the perfect face and whatever. But this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like Nikki. I mean, if you like me too, because it's, you know, basically whatever. And make sure you subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. All subscribe. right, guys. And subscribe. Until subscribe. my next one. I still got to do mines where I talk about what I did she basically. She has more stories than me. How do I have more? I feel like you have better stories because, like, you were the one who was sober. Like, she was a sober. I have to be sober. Every the time they be like, no, Chrissy, take a drink. No, Nikki, no. We almost got, be... or we almost got, we almost broke up her and Christian. Like, that's how. <laughs> That's how good we were. We would have her coming home from the club arguing with his ass. Oh, when you get home, do this, 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 this. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Until next time, always remember, God is love. Big up on ourselves. Oh, tell them again. <laughs> Give them a this shit. Is what I wanna, a this shit. is what I want to